everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make three cereal box crafts. You will learn how to make a cereal box nightlight, a cereal box puzzle, and a woven cereal box sun. These are easy activities to make at home and are great for kids of all ages. So let's get started with our first craft. For our first craft, we're going to show you how to make a cereal box nightlight. All you need for this craft is a cereal box, an image you want to trace on a piece of paper, tape, and a push pin. To get started, find, print, and tape the image you want projected onto the cereal box. I found this adorable picture of a fish that works great. When searching on Google, some great terms to use include coloring pages and black and white clip art. This is what it should look like when you're all done taping. Next, take your push pin and create an outline of the image you traced by pushing the pin in and out of the cardboard. The outline will look better when the holes created by the pin are closer together to make it look like a consecutive line. Open the bottom of the cereal box so it can sit up on its own. Find a flashlight and place it inside of your cereal box and turn off the lights and admire your new creation. Look at how cool your new nightlight looks! Your image that you decided to trace has a constellation effect and the beams of light look so neat when they're projected onto your wall. For our next craft, I'm going to show you how to make your own puzzle at home. To get started, collect your materials. You will need a cereal box, any materials you want to use to decorate your puzzle, and scissors. First, open and lay out your cereal box. One cereal box will provide enough room to make two puzzles if you use each large side of the cereal box. Take your scissors and cut off the extra parts of the cardboard that you won't be using. This is what it should look like. Next, draw a scene on the blank side of your box. You can draw whatever scene you would like, it's up to you. Today I am drawing a farm scene on my box and I'm making sure I'm using up all of the space. When you use all the space it will be easier for you to compose your picture later on. Next. Take your scissors and start to cut the box into pieces. You can cut bigger pieces to make it easier or smaller pieces to make it more complex. You can do whatever shape you'd like for the pieces. Simple squares are an easy option and great for beginners to puzzles. But once you become more comfortable, you can make it more difficult by doing triangles, puzzle piece shapes, or hearts and stars. When you're done cutting everything out, you can try to put the image back together again. Do your best to try and remember how the original scene looked and recreate it with your pieces again. Have fun making more complex puzzles with more pieces to test your skills. For our final craft, we will be showing you how to make a woven cereal box sun decoration. This craft is better for older kids, but it's fun for anyone to try. All you need for this craft is a cereal box, a ruler, an exacto knife, scissors, a hole punch, pencil, and various pieces of colored string. Today I will be using a mix of yarn, embroidery thread, ribbon, and plastic lace. To get started, trace and cut a circle out of the cereal box. You can use a bowl or a plate to help you get the perfectly round circle. Now 
Next, draw a small circle in the center of the already cut circle, and then draw a larger circle around the inner edge of the cutout. For the outer circle, leave about a centimeter of space between the edge and the line you are drawing. Next, take your ruler and draw even and center lines going from one end of the circle to the other. I drew eight lines, which gave me 16 triangle portions. This is what it should look like. Get a parent or older sibling to help you use the X-Acto knife and cut slits along the ruler lines you have just made. When cutting your slits, make sure not to pass the lines created by the drawn edge or the inner circle. Next, use your hole punch and go along the edge of your cutout to make one punch in each portion. Begin weaving your yarn through your circle, going in front of and behind alternating triangle portions. Go around as many times as you wish with your first color. When you've gone around as many times as you like, secure the start and the end of the yarn with a knot in the back. For each color, alternate which portions you cover with the string. And this is what it should look like when you're done weaving. Guide a piece of yarn through the holes created by the hole punch to finish off the piece. Make sure you leave enough extra space at the beginning and end of the string you're using to create a hanging piece when you're fully around the circle. Trim the string and tie a knot at the top when you are finished. The scrap looks great hanging in your window or on a doorknob. Have fun trying different colors to create different looks. We hope you enjoyed learning how to create these three fun cereal box crafts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our videos. See you soon.